What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I am bringing you guys this look and I am recreating a YouTuber's look. Today I'm going to be doing my friend and fellow YouTuber, blogger, and Instagrammer Beauty and Monolids. So this is one of my friends that I, the first person that I met through social media. I met her when we were both really big on Twitter. She no longer has a Twitter for various reasons. Um, but I met her through that. We have connected in that way and we even did a, a collab on our blogs. If I can remember, I will have that linked down below. But we have also met in person multiple times. We have exchanged gifts. She's just been a really nice friend to have in this area. I really don't have any friends that live in this area anymore. I have one, but um, we don't, unfortunately, we don't have the time to get together very often. So meeting another person who is actually into makeup who lives in my area it's been really nice to just meet up with her sometimes we just text about random new releases it has just been really nice and so for today i just wanted to shout her out do this look this is a very out there look for me i know color wise you wouldn't think that but i am not a huge pink wearer if you look through my looks on this channel on my blog on my instagram I think you could probably count on one hand how many pink looks I have. So this was definitely hard for me to just find the colors to do this look, let alone the inspiration to do it, if you will. But I figured it out. Um, and Beauty and Monolith, she really just gave me the courage to do this look. So definitely check out her um, channel if you don't have, um, if you haven't ch checked it out or if you're not subscribed, I will have her link down below. She's already, I've been talking to her and she's gonna be getting back on a constant schedule and all that jazz. So definitely go ahead and support her. Let her know that I sent you. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I am back. Apparently I did not set my under eyes perfectly. We finna keep it going. I'm not that person that's gonna stop just to do them. So today I, like you heard in the intro, I'm gonna be recreating one of my friend's looks. I'm super excited. And this was actually super challenging for me um, just because this is not a color scheme that I usually wear. As you can see by the photo, I'll show you guys at the end, it is a pink look. I don't think I've done an all pink look ever. So I actually had to really search through my collection to find the items that I needed. What I am gonna do is go ahead and do a transition color just because I have this white base and I think it would be better to have some form of transition in between that white base and these pinks. I am using some new brushes. I'm actually testing out some Morphe brushes, trying to give them another chance in my eyes. So um, yeah, I have already washed them, hence why I'm putting them on my face. This particular one is the M535, and I'm just using it just to set down a really nice transition color. This transition color is from my Lorac Pro 2 and it is the light brown shade. <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy today. <laughs> okay, so light brown is set. Now it's time to go in with the pinks. So, I found a couple of matte pinks in my Coastal Scents collection. So I'm going to go ahead and just use those two to create this look. Um, I hope it works. I hope I do her look justice, just how I feel about everybody else's look. I'm hoping it'll work out. So what I'm going to do is first go into a light pink and it's called Baby Pink. And I'm just going to use that same brush that I used before with the brown and just put that right under where I put the brown. And this is purely a transition color. Wow, okay. Let's 
So that is disappointing. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is go into another color that has like a little bit of pink, but it's a little bit corally and it's called Island Coral. And looking at her look, it does look like she has a little bit of corals in the crease. So we're going to put this in my crease and that's showing up a lot better on my skin tone. And she does have like a um, more blown out look. That's why you see me kind of bringing this out a little bit more than I typically would in my own looks. This is a really pretty color. I should use this more often. <laughs> okay, so now that I have that actual transition together, I think what I'm going to do next is I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna go into a more pinky color and it's called Vibrant Pink. So I think I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. I think this brush has done its due. And this is pretty small, or should I take this? Let me go on with this one. This is the M, is that the same brush? Did I buy two of the same brush? I did, that's really annoying. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the M514 and I'm going to go into Vibrant Pink which is yet another Coastal Scents color and I'm just going to kind of build up my crease and give it some more pink because as of right now it just has that coral really showing through. I think that's looking really good. Okay, and we're just gonna do the same thing on this other eye. I will say that I have to kind of dig into this pan. This pan is not as pigmented as the coral pan was, and that's kind of why I don't reach for my Coastal Scents shadows all that regularly because they're not extremely pigmented and there's no real like everything is going to be this one pigmentation it is very much touch and go kind of you figure it out on your own and I'm not a huge fan of that per se so I think that's a really nice look what I'm going to do is just kind of go back with that M535 and the coral color just to bring the coral color back into the look a little bit because you can clearly see the coral color in her photo okay and then we're just going to go back and forth between these two crease colors just till I'm satisfied with the look overall Alrighty, I like that. Now, just to deepen out my outer V, I don't think she did it, but I just, I have to. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Um, I think if I can get the color to bring up. Okay, I'm going to go into magenta pink with a M562 and just deepen out my outer V just a little bit. I just... I have to and I don't even think that's working so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of fine wine to my brush just to deepen it out just a slight bit just for me we do clearly have different eye shapes so for her I don't think it would be justice to deepen out an outer V and I don't even think it's working I don't think it's working at all for me to deepen out this outer V. Um, but, anyways, we're going to go with it. I'm 
we are gonna go with it okay so that is that for my lid in the picture I can't really tell I'm pretty sure she has a shimmer oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so for my lid I'm pretty sure she has a shimmer on her lid I can't really tell like definitely in the photo but I'm betting she does she does a lot of shimmers on her lid so what I'm doing is let me find another brush okay so I found a lid brush this is the M124 and I'm gonna take that into my ABH palette and go into Vermeer and just place that on my lid I think this has like a pinky undertone to it and it looks pretty similar to the lid color that she has and don't worry about the blending I will get that done a little bit later I just like to place all the colors that I need to create the look and then worry about the blending later. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just go back into some of those other brushes, not adding any more product but just going back with the brush and just blending out the edges so all the colors are visible and noticeable in the look. Okay, I also have some fallout which I will deal with. Let's use this brush hopefully. It'll work. I'm gonna have to go back in with it later, but it's okay. So and this is my upper lash line. I don't think she did it in her corner highlight, but let me go ahead and do my bottom lash line with you guys while I have you here. And I'm gonna go back into those Coastal Scents shadows and use that same m562 which is a really small blending brush and i'm gonna go into the three darker pinks that i used so vibrant pink magenta pink and fine wine and i'm just gonna blend those right under my eye all three combined i'm not being really precise with this at all Okay, I think that is good. Um, let me check to make sure. So I know I have to do my liquid liner, but she also did a brow bone highlight. And if you guys have been on my channel for any, any amount of time, you know I don't do brow bone highlights. But since I am recreating her look, I'm going to go ahead and do it and I'm going to go ahead and just use the same shade I put on my lid which is Vermeer and I'm just going to use that same lid brush that I used and we're just going to put it, oh good lord, under my brows. So she appeared to have a pretty decent amount under her brow. I'm not a huge fan of this look at all. So now you guys can really see my brows. Um, but I'm also going to go ahead, hop off camera. What I'm going to do is blend a little bit better between my pinks 
and my brow bone highlight so it's not as harsh I feel like it looks really harsh and then I am going to do my liquid liner and mascara and I will be right back Hey guys, so I am back. I have now done all the blending that I needed to do between the brow bone highlight and my crease. I have done my liquid liner. I've done my upper lashes with mascara, not my bottom because she didn't have them like that. And then I've already done, I did actually two lip liners. So the first one was my NYX Project Pan Liner from last year. Does I still have the name? Yeah, the name is Nude Pink. And then I found an old Project Pan item. This was from NARS, and this one was in Walk Yulriki. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But it was an old Project Pan item. So I put both of those on my lips. And then for the actual lip color, I'm going to use this NYX Soft Cream Lip um, color in San Pablo. I think that's going to be perfect for my lips and to finish off this look. And that's the look. It is as simple as that. I really did enjoy doing this. This really did pull me out of my comfort zone. I am not comfortable with pinks at all. Um, so this really did push me out of my zone. And that's really what I like to do with these recreating YouTubers looks. Please do go ahead and check out my girl Beauty and Mono Lids. I will have her channel linked down below. And yeah, after that, it has been real, y'all. Peace.